All right, we got one last question from a new uh, Patreon member, uh, Chris K. He says, hey, guys, listen what to up, the podcast. What up, Chris K? <laughs> Listening to the podcast for a couple of years, new to Discord. Appreciate you. Wanted to pose a question to the group. Is it possible to win now and retool at the same time? Or will that be suboptimal for winning and getting younger? Uh, additional context, he's coming off a championship. Look at you. Got that title belt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm well positioned to win again this year, feeling the pressure of some aging players, though. Wondering what moves I should make now to try to position myself for a run, also, but also getting younger. Is that a dumb idea? 12 team super flex, 10 teams, 10 starter, 25 man roster, four taxi, which is for rookies. Doesn't have a got 312 or 31, 312, 41, and 412. So. No not, draft, picks, not a whole really. lot of draft picks, but super flex three one. Won the, you know, if you when you won the championship, hey. you're not you're not upset about not having picks the next no, year. No, you got paid. Yeah, you got paid. They had they had to give you the prize money, right. so you won the championship. Good stuff. So basically, he's saying, hey, I want to try to win another championship. Mm-hmm. I think I'm well positioned to do that. But how can I back off some of this age? And basically, you go, uh, you find the age. The age is stacked up in the running backs and the wide receivers. He mm-hmm. got a really Got a fun for a fun fun tight end room and Joe Burrow and Jared Goff, totally decent second quarterback in Jared Goff. Mm-hmm. Um, Burrow's a solid stud to get started. You know you got Dalvin Cook, and so you got Swift, Montgomery, Etn. Mm-hmm. So age wise, you know you got Swift and Etn, not old. Montgomery, oh, you got there's there's Tony Pollard. All right, okay, okay, we're working with something. Um, I like so you got you got some solid running backs. Obviously, right now we just traded away Dalvin Cook and got a random first next year in a league. Um, it took giving away. It was a non tight end premium league. Actually, it was a half PPR league. Yeah. Um, it took I had to throw in Gerald Everett randomly to get the deal done. Dude didn't have a good tight end at all, and we had a couple. So I and I gave him our quote unquote worst one, even though I think Gerald Everett is a solid buy this year for he's basically free. Um. So you could offer just that doesn't help you necessarily win your championship, but I don't think the thing about the championship part is you won one. Great. You got to get back to the playoffs. You got to have players when you get there, but winning in week 15 and 16 or week 16 and 17, there's so much luck in there. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and I'll get in and the real age of the rooms or goes to, you know, you got Devonte Adams stud. Sure. Getting old fast. Stud, Keenan Allen, old stud. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tyreek Hill, not as old. Stud, 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 stud. Michael Pittman, stud, not as stud as the other guys, but he's a young wannabe stud. Like I said, caught ninety nine balls last year from a team that didn't have a quarterback. That's impressive if you think about it. Um, so Tyreek Hill, that's like. You're going to get more for Tyreek Hill than you could get for Devontae Adams. Sure. To me, like, to me, Devontae Adams is going to be really close. Like, the fall off could be graceful because he's a graceful player. Devontae Adams is is the guy, him and Dot, me, there's a reason that you, you can easily see why you run the championship. I can see your championship players right here. You got a bunch of them. You just happen to have a handful that are old, you know? Right. Um, obviously Keenan Allen was hurt last year, but he, you know, Keenan Allen, Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill, those are some old receivers, but they're studs. You could, you could go, you're not going to get, you're not going to trade away Tyreek Hill and get anywhere near the weekly upside. That doesn't happen. The only other weekly upside guy, you got cup. He's old. Stefan Diggs, He's old. You, nobody's giving you, you have to bring so much to the table to get your Justin Jefferson type guys. Um, and the other one is Devontae Adams, and you have him on your roster, you know. But you have Travis Etienne. People love him. Sure. You know, but he's young. He's one of the youngest players. I don't necessarily recommend trading him, but he could be in a he could be in a package. Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard could easily be a top five running running back next year. Easily. Sure. He's part of your championship squad, but also, what is he going to be? Twenty six. Because he's least you know. Um, I'm just looking at guys that are, you know, 26, April 30th. It may be a package deal. Like you're not trading away. You got, and you got David Montgomery who I just told Casey two nights ago, 
Eleventh round startup, David Montgomery is getting my blood going. Sure, I you know we he. I really yeah, you're not getting anything for David Montgomery, so don't worry about trading you, him right now. Yeah, but. yeah, you're not trading away Derek, David Montgomery. He's older, but you're not going to get anything from for him. But a, but a good starter, you know, from him, like he's going to put him in your lineup and forget it. I, I don't, I didn't really put a thought like he's he just joined my Lions. I do you didn't think put it's a, possible to even do what he's asking to necessarily? Like, do you, you seemingly have to get get rid of something? Like you said, Tyree kills is probably a good asset to get rid of if. But he's certainly going to help you win the championship. So, like, well, how, the, the reason know, how I, do you get rid of the reason I started talking about Pollard and ETN? Like, it happens. ETN to me would be the sell. Yeah. Well, you you have to, but you sell ETN, and if you're if you're trying to stay rotating younger guys in and able to win because you're right, seem, you seem expendable at the running back position. Very not enough. Very en- enough. Very. Um, that being said, week four, you might be down two of them, <laughs> sure. you know, you don't, but you never running backs go and get hurt. But You could pick up another you got guy. So many you good trade ones. ETN, get, get another guy who uh, maybe older, the, uh, you trade ETN and you trade a Tyreek Hill together. Like that's a, you, you trade, so you trade I don't know Devontae, if you can win without Tyreek Hill, I guess is my point or Devonte Adams. Right. Well, sure. But you're not going to get as much for Devonte. So I understand the theory of trading Hill, but like, I just feel like if Hill isn't on this team, I feel like he's a very important piece to this team winning. Of course. He's Tyree Hill. Right, right. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So, like, how it's, can you trade so away? So, it's not a dumb question. Contention? What You know, his part of his question was, this is a dumb question. It's not a dumb question. It's it's doable, but it's going to be it, – it, it always comes down to the right trade partner. But you got to be very creative because you got to package this. you got you got to give some – Tyreek Hill is like, you know, Tyreek Hill gets drafted before Devontae Adams in every startup because he's a year and a half younger. Um, if you're going to get, I would be fine just hanging on to Devontae Adams and trying to win another championship, see what happens. I, I, think, I think that part is, uh, yeah. Devontae you're not, you're Adams. going to get enough for him to. Devontae Adams is my is my go to like fourth round, late fourth round startup pick. I'm taking, a, I'm taking my old guy here as my championship chaser. Mm-hmm. You know, this is my championship guy and he's going to, he's, he, if you have some horrible luck, then you trade one or two of these guys. If you're like, if you, if all of a sudden all your running backs get hurt or, you know, the way, hell, the way it works, Burrow and golf get hurt, Yeah, you know, or but one of your quarterbacks get hurt and a couple of your court tight, you know, cause you, you have, you don't have a bunch of good receivers, you have a couple great ones. Right. That's you know? kind of what I was so saying. You're Once not you get deep, off one, it's hard. Right. You're not deep at wide receiver. You're just incredibly deep at the top. You're you got elite, elite top wide receivers. And you got two quarterbacks, which are both really good for super flex. Obviously, Joe Burrow's a young stud. If one of those guys get hurt, you lose a, the wrong running back or two, and you know, all of a sudden you just have some bad luck. You don't you're not about to make the playoffs then you can make be a little bit more aggressive trading some of these aging guys. I agree with Casey. The 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 trades are probably going to come out of the running back room. Dalvin's the easy just try to you got between you got you got Travis Etienne. You got Dante Foreman. He's a big time trade. Well you got the Bears backfield right now. Right. You got Herbert and Foreman. So Montgomery's a keeper because you're not going to get anything for him. And he's a starter. Backfield. And then you got DeAndre Swift, who's not going to. He's there's no reason to be selling DeAndre Swift right now. I just I just don't see it. I don't say I don't see no. selling him this low. It's not sell low, buy high. Sometimes it can be buy high, and sometimes it can be sell low before it goes lower. But I don't think it's. I mean, DeAndre Swift is still a stud. So I, yes, the Lions are telling you something, but. I don't think they're telling you enough, and it says give away Devon, De- DeAndre Swift. Yeah, Casey no. and I just bought him for peanuts from a, a, a guy that's been riding with our with us for years on this podcast. So maybe Son Bosley knows something we don't know, but he just gave away Swift for peanuts. He put it in the group chat, and we went after it. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I think I mean, you know I think the Dalvin Cook is the one where I'm just like if you hey sure. try to just send him to everybody in the league for a first, and if maybe if there if there's one more team that looks just like you. As far as like quality of, of opponent, and you're like, hey, that's the guy that I faced last year in the championship, and he's he's gonna be there again. Don't send him to him, maybe. Yeah, you know, yeah. to or or send it to him after all the other people say no, yeah. right? I don't. If there's a guy who's gonna whose first round pick is way worse than the, I, I might send it to four people to start with, the better ones, and they probably all say no right away, and one of and one of them might even take the time to message you back. Why would I do that? Because I'm gonna be an early first round pick next year. I'm not giving you Dalvin Cook. 
fair enough. Thanks for the response. Then you send them to the next four guys. And maybe you send them to all the other guys except for that one studded out team. You don't want to get that late first sure. round pick unless you until you have to. Sure. You know, so I'm starting there. I'm starting. I'm sending away Dalvin for a first. Um, but that being said, when I, if everybody says no, then maybe you could say you could take your Tyreek Hill if you wanted to. You wanted to. You could try to get to take Dalvin and Tyreek Hill, package those guys up, and get you. A, you're not going to again you're not going to trade away Tyreek Hill and get an as good wide receiver because there's only three more and you got one of them you know <laughs> yeah. and the and two of them are old right the, you know you got Justin Jefferson you got CD Lamb what where you have to go looking for those pockets of the you know you nobody's giving you Justin Jefferson right no. you're 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 paying through the nose for Justin Jefferson you have the depth to do it here you could take Tyreek Hill and Tony Pollard and Dalvin Cook and and all from for Justin Jefferson if you want to and you still have enough running backs to win the championship. That's you know the that's kind of have a package you you got to give to get. Sure. You know, um, I'm trying to think about that wide receiver who like the CD Lamb halfway through through the season last year when I when well, was yeah, it, you, you had a window there you it almost wasn't, have to invest in an undervalued wide receiver that's going to perform it's that's what like, I'm saying like that it's been, and those things don't present themselves all the time because if they did it would just you'd run out of like there wouldn't be under there wouldn't be anybody to buy after a while you yeah. know there's CD Lamb had a little bubble last year and all, literally like a week later he he hit and then a week later he hit and then he started blowing up and then it was like eight catch the game yeah. And for the next six weeks until the season was over, um, you got to find somebody like that to go after. You're not going to go at you, you know, you trade away your, your player that scores three touchdowns and then you go after the guy that hadn't done anything for three weeks. That there's just, it's hard to do this stuff in the off season, especially tearing up a championship roster. Yeah. Like, but there's no doubt about it. You're the, the just asking this question, you know, you, it puts you, we know that you're in the right state of mind. You know, you're a winner and you know you're getting old. Where are you going to have – there is, you know, it's hard to find that middle ground. Um, and, and what's cool here is it shows how you got these guys. You picked my Pittman at 2-5 a couple years ago. You know, you traded for Keenan Allen. You traded for Tyreek Hill. I don't know what that trade was like. You traded for Pollard. You traded – you know, there's just – it when the when the situation presents itself, whoever gets hurt first out of Foreman and, and Herbert, trade the other one, you know. As soon as if, if Foreman right. gets well, hurt, sure, sure. you know what I mean? You you have to just yeah, play I mean, this hand out. This is not a one stop. I can't there's not one answer for this question. A hundred percent. There's too much going on here. You got a championship roster and it shows. You got studs all over the place and you got a bunch of wide running back depth. You don't have the best running back, but you got a bunch of good ones, you know? And that's usually, you know, who dude, Devontae Adams could be a top five wide receiver for the next two years. So I wouldn't necessarily be in a hurry to trade him. He could be the one like Casey said. He's good. Him and Tyreek Hill could be the people that are keeping you winning championships or at least putting you in the position to to play for it, to try to get lucky in the week 16 and week 17. Yeah. You you definitely need to start cashing out on some of these running backs before they expire on you. Yeah. So, you know, uh, some moves that you maybe could make if you were trying to stay competitive, get younger, and maybe gain – some extra assets is like DK Metcalf seems like for whatever reason we do great. We great do a lot of receiver to and, throw out. And he seems to always be on the back the end of one. these like guys. He's the last one. So he could be a guy you could move backwards to maybe not get as much Tyreek Hill like production from, but squeeze out a little bit more equity to get younger. And totally has that high upside weekly, right. weekly ceiling is the, ridiculous. The other thing would be if you want to go a little further back, maybe you try to get a like trade try. I know we just did Jamison Williams and people love her, but like Jamison Williams in a first for Tyree kill, like get the younger guy who could explode and maybe be the next Tyree kill and a, a first. I don't know right. if that's even enough for you or whatever. Or if you want to even go back further than that and try to definitely get some first and some picks, some Jerry Judy type players, who are still pretty young and could have very productive seasons. I've been liking Hollywood Brown a little bit older, but had great production. Those last are year great guys Kyler to go Murray. after with some of those running you backs. You get younger, you can stay, you can still stay competitive, and you can probably pick up excess picks as well to try to be doing things. If 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 that's kind of the first move, because I agree, Tyree Kill is the best asset I think to kind of start trading off if you don't want to trade ETN. And Dalvin might be a little bit more of a battle to trade, but I you definitely need to try to get rid of him. Um, 
Tyreek is the move, but you got to do it strategically to stay. But it is certainly is not a one stop shop. You're not just going to make this move like it's a constant evolution of when you can strike and and gain value for somebody who you, know, you could start, but is is going to give you more value later in the draft. M- might not necessarily win you the league. Like and a, a Saint of Saint Brown is a good young. Right. I don't know. That Saint, might, he might be too cl- like sometimes St. Brown goes before Tyreek Hill and something in the draft I was just in. I know. Yeah, but it might be you might trade Tyreek Hill. You build that package. It might be Tyreek Hill and Dalvin Cook for St. Brown and this guy yeah. or this or this draft sure. pick, you know. Um, yeah, I love that. I love that DK Metcalf pull out right there. And it really is, um, you know, ETN, you got so many running backs that you could that you need to be working with here, you know. You you need to you need to make that room younger faster than the wide receiver room. I mean, yeah, you you by moving those running backs, you could be picking up those. Pollard ones. could be that guy too for mm-hmm. for sure as a lightning rod to make a move. That's so maybe somebody likes Pollard more than ETN, and you keep ETN, you trade Pollard away. Bro, I just saw um, in one of our in our FFPC league, somebody just gave away somebody traded not Pollard. That I'm, advocating the trade away Pollard. I like him. I think he's good. If you, you saw, st- you said it right off the jump. He could be RB, you know, five yeah, or three or but whatever. He, somebody traded away Pollard and got back the one, two. I mean, it's in a non super flex, but I mean, so you just got, you just got, obviously it's going to be, um, JSN or Gibbs, JSN or Gibbs right there. You know, that's for Pollard. And in that you, you won't even, you know, in that running back room, it's hard to say you're not going to miss Pollard, but if you got Gibbs then all of a sudden you got a running back too, but you could get JSN and throw him in with those aging receivers. That'd be huge. Right. Right. So I, I like, I probably like definitely got to get rid of Dalvin ETN's a possibility. I think Pollard's the other lightning rod and then Tyreek to, to pivot off of something a little younger. And, and, with. and, and take off that you, you have, Unfortunately, the Bears backfield, right? You know, right. That, so that's something that's going to happen. That's going to be as a, it ebbing and flowing. Sure. Right, right. Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, Devante, unfortunately, you, that's probably an in season trade too. When somebody is looking for a veteran who scores points every week, you could prop, if it's not going well for you, if right. you're winning, you kind of have to keep Devante because you're not getting anything for him unless you're, you don't want to trade him away because you're not going to get enough right. to, to and, make it make sense. Right. And the thing about like you, the DK Metcalf, DK Metcalf is basically quarterback proof because he's a physical freak. Right. And the St. Brown, he's, he he's the kind of we know his role he knows his role the team knows his role player is perfect he just catches passes all over the place chris olave would be a guy who just absolutely went above and beyond what he was supposed to do as a rookie um marky the judy and hollywood brown are good calls especially hollywood brown because we've already seen him just roll top five production when healthy but what i would do is like make sure that i didn't just quote unquote got younger for nothing and I'm and I'm gonna call out a player here and it's not Terry McLaurin. Right. I don't want to be trading away my digs for Terry McLaurin plus just because McLaurin's younger. And not even that much long, younger. That but the thing but I'm just saying it's he's yeah. we don't know what's going on with Washington's quarterback situation. It's not McLaurin. Right. You know, and he's got other weapons around him. Like he's got guys that are good enough to demand some targets beside him and nobody's going to demand more targets than Terry. And you saw when they were introducing the, you know, the coach and this, the, I don't know. Did you see that video about McLaurin and the offensive coordinator? Like, man, I'm so glad to have you here. And they were just dapping each other up for like five straight minutes. <laughs> so long. Like, yeah. a kid. did you see it? Uh-uh. It was and McLaurin kept saying like, he he's so in, you right, know? Right. Right. And right. I, and I'm not so like McLaurin is pr- one of the guys I'm going to be pulling for him so hard, but like, don't trade one of these stud wide receivers. Tyreek Hill, quarterback proof. Devontae Adams, quarterback proof. DK Metcalf, you don't have him, quarterback proof. Don't go down from a – Tyreek Hill's in the best offense in the league for him. He left the Chiefs and got better. He left the Chiefs. The Chiefs got better. Tyreek Hill got better. Nobody saw – that was the opposite of what was supposed yeah, to happen. Right, right. That was the exact – Tyreek Hill's numbers were supposed to go down. The Chiefs weren't supposed to be as good, and they both were better. It makes zero sense. Just don't go from that situation to a Washington receiver situation. It's not Terry McLaurin's fault, but just say, oh, I just shaved two years off. No, 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 no. You just shaved your ceiling down. And again, I said that you're not going to leave Hill and right. find a good ceiling, but going from Hill to DK plus, if you can get that, is huge because your ceiling stays there. Your quarterback, like you could, you know, Terry McLaurin could have a fantastic season. 
but he's already a beast. You know, his quarterback situation, he averaged just the same as DK Metcalf last year, you know, so it's just, but it just doesn't feel the same, mm. you know? Right. No, I agree. I agree. I'm All just right. pulling that, you know, yeah. just, hey, just don't pick any 26 year old receiver and think you went down from Tyreek Hill. I'd rather have Tyreek Hill. Yeah. I'd sure. rather have Tyreek Hill for sure. the next two years than an average 26 year old. And, Ty, you know, again, McLaurin's not average, you know, and an above average player. You, it, it needs to be a great player because you're coming off of elite. So right. you want you don't want to take too many steps down just to say I want to get younger, but you de- you you do need to do something or your whole, whole team's going to be right. You right. you 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 don't want to go full rebuild mode, but if you don't do something before you're in full rebuild mode, you won't have well, anything just, to rebuild with. It, I, we talked about it on a rebuild show. And it's just like you just need to be that team. You just got to be active with active. that team or, right. or you're just going to be sitting there in two years like, damn, I got a bit of a road ahead of me. So you just got to be able to strike when the iron's hot what, and, did, and send enough offers and go back and forth enough. Activity is going to be the key in this. It almost seems I almost say this every single time we get on the podcast. And if you've been listening this long, so these things are be this is a trade question. It'll be cut up. So it's not the same. But like if you the fact that you're in a you're a patron you're in the you're in this you're asking this question you're going to be in it you you need you need a couple of your league mates to be there to interact with you and trade right that's your hardest part about this next year and most fun thing to ever do is try to win with this team and get younger at the same time super fun your biggest obstacle is finding trade partners you know so if you're sending a trade with somebody you're sending offers back and forth somebody gives you that quote unquote disrespectful man don't disrespect back. Just be like, man, that we're a little off Can't here. Lose partners you cannot right burn bridges, bro. Especially with a team like this, because you got it's so many trades. Like, ha ha, yep, ha ha. <laughs> a lot you of got, ha ha's. You got so many trades. You know, you don't even want. You know, you don't know how they said that ha ha in the text. So yeah. just be like, we're our, those. <laughs> these values didn't line up for us. Let's erase that and start over. You know, you just gotta walk. You gotta yeah. kill them with kindness, because you, you know, you're probably more than you're ninety nine percent chance you're the most active person in your league. Half the players on your team were traded for. I can see it right here. And you got a lot of trades coming up. You're probably there might there, I, there's no more than two other active players in your league like that. I guarantee it. Yeah, you got to be and you got to be. You got to be one of the more active guys right now to to turn to do go what you try to win and and to turn this roster over and not be with the you know, standing with the bag, which if you can win, if you can bang out two in a row, I'll eat shit for two years no or whatever. Doubt. But no doubt. you know. So, I'm not advocating just don't try to win again if you think you can, but sure. You know. Just do something. Yeah, you got you got too many good running backs to not make moves there. Too many people are focused on the trade shows and we're having a good time with it and all that and, and making trades, but sometimes you're ready to win and just try to go fucking win. Right, like, right. And I before we before we get off of here real quick, I I said you got too many good running backs. That's not a real thing, but you don't have too it's not like you have Bijan and Brees Hall and Walker. Right. You got too many good running backs. You don't have too many elite running backs. So that that ebb and flow of good running back value is so up and down. You you know this and that with Swift, whatever Montgomery plugs into the Lions. Pollard is was a receiver in college, and all of a sudden, you know he <laughs> he could be fantastic. He really, I mean, he was fantastic last year. Didn't get you know who will he get enough volume this year? And will he break down? Will he hold up? Will he do this? Will he crush and win you the championship? Who knows? You know, you got the Bears back. Just cycle that running back room over a little bit, a couple times over, and, and enjoy that process because you don't have, you know, a couple years ago, Dalvin was that elite stud. Sure. You know, and, it, you know, he's obviously not anymore. Um, there's, you got Swift. He could be the elite stud, but the Lions are telling you he's not built for the Dalvin carries, this and that. Just try to come out of this. Come on, go, go get you a Walker. Go you you sure. you got the running back. You could go. You could give your best three for Bijan, and nobody's gonna be upset with you. You mm-hmm. know, package up some players and go get some fun. Sure, go buy some fun. I agree. All right, let's uh let's get out of here. Unless get you get Brees Hall else. before he so before you figure it before anybody figures out he's gonna be fine. <laughs> sure, you know, go buy Brees Hall now with that team. Go pack. Go take three running backs and go get Brees Hall, or two and a pick, or yeah, see what it takes. Yeah, um, you got anything else? Buy Taylor on low. By JT? Sure. Sure. JT seems like he might be a little disrespected. That's what I'm saying. Go get you one of those good, good running backs. The good, good ones. The good goods. 
All right. Well, we appreciate y'all. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. You can hit us up on the Twitters at the FF Dynasty with questions or, you know, wherever YouTube, uh, <laughs> email, Instagram. Email them. People are shooting like questions that. all over the place. But you can also join the Discord for a $5 holler and get in mock drafts. You're going to get the ADP when we have it. We're going to have some rookie rankings. Um, and you get to, like I said, be in all the mock tracks, contribute to the ADP. And you obviously get the Discord where, you know, we're, we're having all sorts of questions. We're doing extra shows, at least three a week or three a month, rather. Um, and like I said, the next one will be a little live deal where we send out a StreamYard link and, you know, up to seven or eight people can get in there and chat with us and we I can like have it. a little round table with, with the actual people. Um, Keep people it tight. Helping, people helping people. Um, but we appreciate you. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. You had gotten too far into that. We're on the way out. We didn't even talk about it. Dude, part of those packages, you got three good tight ends. You had, you got to put in your tight ends with those packages going out. Some of them. You got Hawkinson, Evan Ingram, and somebody else good. Not as good well, as Hawkinson premium, and Evan Ingram. No, it's not premium, but I'm saying like you got to. That's part of the package that helps get something done. And you got, hell, you could keep Hawkinson and Ingram because they're not old. But I think there was a third one. And oh, Juwan Johnson.